How y'all doing? I'm Justin Waddle. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something breathtaking. It's, it's God's voice through the numerical pattern of the Bible. Today we're going to go over the number three being direction. Uh, and the way you see that through Scripture first uh, is of uh, 2, 2 Timothy 1.7. Uh, For the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Or Hebrews 13.8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Uh, but the way you see that in testimonies, uh, like God, G-O-D, or I am, I-A-M, uh, He wants you to be directed to Him. So he, he directs you to Him by the author of the verse and the chapter, by Old Testament, Poetry, New Testament. And the main one that directs you to God is the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has to be the third in line because He is the Lord of righteousness. He leads us into righteousness, guys. He is, he is our direction. Okay, but in other testimonies, in other directions of the Bible, you got you got uh, Abraham. He saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day, or Noah entered the ark with three sons, or or, 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 or Moses was hid for three months. Uh, you got uh, you got Joseph entered the, uh, uh, Joseph uh, interpreted the butler baker and Pharaoh's dream, and the butler's dream was three branches, three days, and the baker's dream was three baskets, three days, and. And you got uh, Jonah was in the belly of the well three days and three nights. And it took him three days to go to Nineveh. And Joshua took three days to cross Jordan. And uh, Rahab helped the two spies. And, uh, you know, you got Peter denied Jesus three times. And John chapter 21, Jesus asked Peter three times, does he love him? And Peter says three times he does love him. And then Jesus asked him three times to follow him. Okay? Or feed his ram or feed his sheep. You see? It's in every, every living testimony. It's in every single story, every everything that uh, that consists of three being direction. Like in First Samuel chapter three, uh, you got Samuel heard God call his voice uh, name three times, but he didn't know it was him calling him. See, it's in every single every single testimony. David beat the lion, the bear, and the Philistine, and Samson got tempted by Lila three times. And I mean, it's everything, guys. John, John, James, and Peter went to the mountain to see Elijah, Moses, and Jesus, and they asked if they should build three tabernacles. See? Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction. Uh, in Numbers chapter 22, uh, a man, a donkey, and an angel. Angel makes the donkey bear off the path three times for stepping in front of him, and the, and the man whips him three times, and he talks. This is going to prove he talked. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your remembrance. I thank you for your glorious, beautiful, beautiful knowledge and wisdom and compassion and honor and glory. I thank you for your everlasting, everlasting word that never fails us. It's every single living testimony, guys. So today we're going to show you all how his word never fails, how, how it's everlasting, everlasting. Uh, we're going to show you all how, how, how he's been right underneath our noses this whole time. So, so today, Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did back then in that time period and that pattern, it's still safe to say he still does this day with the same pattern and the same number. So if Abraham saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day, I saw how to use this right here for directions. I, I used the uh, appliance so the box is upside down. But you got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and there's three sections with three different directions on it for directions. Because those are directions, directions to those box for the appliance. But take a walk with me for a second, like Jesus Christ for a minute, uh, the great Messiah. <laughs> we're we're going to show you all how he never changes. And that's not the road sign. Okay, guys, we're about to walk up on it right here. It's three different sections of this sign with three different threes on it. Just like Jesus and the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, did the resurrection. He preached the gospel for three years, and he got crucified at the age 33, guys. That is a lot of threes. He, he got what his heart desires. So when you have get what your heart desires, you're going to have an abundance of threes in it. Like Christopher Columbus, he, he wanted freedom from a king and a queen. Now we serve a president. He sailed with the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria to the USA, red, white, and blue, Western, Eastern, and Central America, Pacific Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico. You got Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, Equator. If you pan all the way out, you got Canada, the United States, and Mexico. So that's Jesus, Christopher Columbus. And when he gives you what your heart desires, whether you want to go to Beaver Country Store and Cafe, if you want to go to JJ's Truck Stop, 
or if you want to go to JB's RV park. That's three sections of signs. But it goes way deeper than that. So you got Jesus and the three crosses. It's more than three words, but it's in three sections. And the third section is your arrow to show you which direction to go to Beaver Country Cafe. Now JJ's truck stop, it's JJ's truck stop, which is three for direction, but it's also in threes. One, two, three for direction. And you also got 300 feet. And then, of course, you got JB's RV Park. And it's in three, one, two, three for direction. And it's one, two, three for direction. <laughs> See how the abundance of threes? All right, guys, we're going to walk just one more little, more, one more section of this, of this video here, which is three different sections. Because you got the directions on my, on my three appliances on the back of my truck. Then you got those three signs right here. Then when he gives you what your heart desires, if you want to get on the freeway, if you want to go to Little Rock, Old Mill, Taylor Road, or Texarkana, that he, he gives you your directions right there too. Directions to what your heart desires. Here you go. All right, so you got Jesus and the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day. See, guys, went through life, death, and resurrection. <laughs> he preached the gospel for three years. You see what I mean? Through the eyes of the Spirit, there's no way a man in my statue can show you all these things and line them all the way up to everything in the Bible and make them make sense, guys. That's a lot of threes for uh, direction. That's a lot of threes back here on these road signs for direction. And that's a lot of threes for the directions of the directions of the dryer box, for, for God's sake. That's so beautiful. I mean, it's so powerful. That there's, this is physically impossible unless His mighty hand is on all of these threes. Physically impossible. What you're seeing is Hebrews 11.3, that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. The Word of God is the third in line, and what that means is the worlds were framed by the Word of God means they, everything is made in the likeness image of the Holy Spirit, the third one, the, one, the third in control. You see? Because He is our direction. That's what all those threes are for, guys. Let's count them. Let's see how many threes are on just this sign alone. One, two, three for direction. One, two, three for direction, the arrow. Then you got three places to go. Then you got three here. So it's one, two, three, four. That's four arrows. Four, three. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for letting me fall short to glory, God. That is four different sections of threes for direction, guys. That's four different sections. I mean, it's, it's physically impossible for all this. We didn't, we didn't just come together and be like, oh, let's put all these signs in threes. And here's three more sections. One more before we go. So you got one, two, three. Okay, you got a one-way, one-way sign, two words. But the third part of the sign is the arrow itself. So one, two, three to show you which direction is one way. Then you got do not enter for do, do not enter in there. That's the wrong direction. Then you got one, two, three, and that's two causes. Division, double for your trouble, guys. That's a different day, different name. All right, guys, please subscribe at the bottom. You're not following me. You're following the two powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you all these things. That is too many threes on all these road signs to be coincidental. One, two, three for direction. One, two, three for direction. One, two, three hundred for direction. One, two, three, four direction. You see what I'm saying, guys? It's just physically impossible for all those patterns to be lined up like that. That's the Holy Spirit lined up everything like that in the likeness of His image. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you. Subscribe at the bottom. I promise you're not following me. God bless you.